Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Teacher. Hello. Eh, hello. Con Diana aún nos encontramos en el trabajo. Creo que vamos a hacer lo posible por estar escuchando, pero no prometemos mucho porque como estamos con pacientes es muy difícil escuchar y estar escuchando al paciente también. Ok. Al menos. Que... Pero, pero vamos a estar aquí en... Diana ya se conectó. Creo que ya se va a conectar Diana también. Ok. Gracias, uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Voy en camino, teacher. Be careful, be careful. If you are driving, you need to be careful. Thank you. Hey, Eric, right there. Got the there too. Santa is on your way. Evelyn is there too. Rosalina, Rosalina, Rosalie. Diana is there. Okay. okay. Elizabeth is there too. Okay, this is class number 11. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher, ya logré crear la cuenta ya en la plataforma. Eso. Eh, ya hoy la terminé de crear, hoy eh, le llamé a una de las muchachas de... que están allí, ellas me ayudaron, me mandaron la el correo para poder crearlo okay. que no me lo habían mandado ah, no se lo habían enviado no, no me lo habían enviado bueno entonces ya le van a empezar a llegar las tareas las que ha dejado de las semanas anteriores ya lo voy a empezar a hacer ok, perfecto, muy bien excelente
Okay, let us see what we have for today. But before that, uh, tell me, uh, how was your day today? Well, we have uh, some listener and Andres and English. Maybe they are still working. That is the reason why they put uh, as a listener. Any trouble in the platform? Everything okay? Yes. As you can see, uh, this is uh, the week number three. We are so close to finish. We are in the middle. That means that you are going to be ready for the next module. Estamos ya iniciando eh, semana tres. Después de esta solo nos quedaría una y se terminó el módulo uno. El tiempo ha volado así de esa manera. Rosalí, chau. Una pregunta, teacher. Este, ¿Y el examen va a ser al final? O sea, ¿en la cuarta semana? ¿O tenemos que hacer uno, digamos, a mitad de...? Ah, de hay, del... un, hay un meter, ah. ahí les aparece un meter. Y ese, ¿hasta cuándo tenemos para completarlo? Déjeme ver en qué ubicación está ahorita, le digo. Bueno, gracias. Ahorita mero le digo. Okay, hold on a second, let me know. Okay, here we go. Let me see. <coughs> Okay, hold on a second. Can you search any platform? Section three. Okay, hold on, then let's see. Ah, oh, the meter. Okay, the meter is in section two. El meter les aparecía en la semana dos, que es la que acaba de pasar. Esa fue parte de, de una de las actividades que ya hicieron, que son cinco preguntas nada más. 
Ese es el, el llamado midterm, ese es como un examen intermedio. Creo que ya lo hicieron. ¿O no? ¿No? No, yo no recuerdo. Igual yo. Ahorita les muestro, ahorita les muestro. Tampoco no recuerdo haberlo hecho. No, es que les apareció como un ejercicio simple, entonces por eso es este. Eh, uh, aquí dice Mitchell Part One. Mm. But let, let, let me go back in order to show you. Uh, déjenme regresarme para mostrarle dónde está. Ok, si yo me vengo para acá. Eso está en la sección 2. Ok, aquí. Aquí aparece y dice midterm for questions. Este es el midterm. Entonces usted debió, debió haber dado clip acá. Y le, y le apareció la parte 1. Que son estas preguntas. Aquí aparece en la 5. Luego le da siguiente. Y aparece la otra parte. ¿Se recuerdan haberlo hecho? Sí, creo yo. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Sí. ¿Verdad, yes, que, teacher. ¿Verdad que ya lo hicieron y no se dieron cuenta que era el examen? <risa> la verdad, no. Esta es la segunda parte, mire. Choose the best choice for the following question. What letter comes before Q? Uh, how many letters are there in the English alphabet? Cosas que ya la vimos. Which are the vowels? ¿Cuáles son las vocales? Our teacher is from Canada. Right, run. Their class is at night. Right or wrong? Clases son de noche, sí o no? Y aquí pasamos a la siguiente parte, que sería la tres. Go over the sentence and check the right use of the verb be. Parece ahí, my boss are Elmer. Entonces, uh, according to the instruction, you are going to check the right use of the verb be. ¿Cuál será la correcta? Bueno, no me diga. Usted, como ya lo vimos, usted ha sabido elegir ahí. Luego aquí, de esta también hicimos ejercicio. Scramble the following simple present sentence. Type them correctly. Don't forget capi capital letters at the beginning and a period at the end. De esto hablamos. Esa era una parte y esta era la parte cuatro. Donde dice, read the question, check the proper way to answer. Do you like music? Yes, I do or I does. We already talked about this too. También hablamos de eso. Y sigue, y sigue. Let me see what else do we have. Bueno, yo creo que por hasta por ahí creo que estamos. Okay. Ese es el midterm exam. Creo que sí, ya lo hicieron. Bueno, déjenme mirar aquí la nota, si ya la tengo. Let me check. Uh, here. Ok, quiero ver si está para poderla pasar a... Para poderla pasar, ¿cómo se llama? El cuadro de notas. Que todavía tienen espacio para poder hacerlo. A ver qué pasó aquí. Algo pasó aquí. Okay, uh, as soon as I get the information, I'm going to tell you what what happened there. Tan pronto eh, me cargo y voy a compartirles cómo está, pero sí, la mayoría eh, va, va haciendo sus cosas. Solo me hacía falta don Alejandro que ya le pudieron activar su cuenta. Wow, ya me dio error, no sé por qué me está dando error. Ahora ya no puedo verlo, no sé qué pasó. Algo pasó. Uh, I don't know. Bueno, no conviene que le diga cómo está ahí. Sí, me da error.
I don't know why. Hello, teacher. Me tardé un poco en conectarme. No sé si ya pasó lista. Hoy estoy presente. No, no yet. Because uh, we were talking about the, the mixture exam. And I was showing you the way that you can serve in the platform. Don't worry. Take your easy. Okay. Uh, let me see. I don't know what's happened there. No sé qué pasó, pero no, ya no puedo entrar a la plataforma. Algo, algo, algo me pasó ahí. No sé qué pasó. Voy a intentar por otro medio. Bueno, que terminen de llegar. Bueno, ya nos faltan pocos. Eh, let me see. Where is it? Let me see. Okay, got it here. Bueno, será porque vi el, el Mitchell exam que me dio error, no sé. No sé, no sé qué pasó, pero no lo puedo ver. No, I can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, hold on a second. Un segundo, por favor. No me deja ver qué pasó. Pues. I got it here. Uh, let me see. No, solamente Diana lo ha hecho el, el midterm. Lo ha hecho Diana, Ingrid, eh, Ismael. Luis Armando, Mayra. Ok, el resto no lo ha hecho todavía. Entonces, ya este ya pueden hacerlo porque estaba en la sesión 2. Ahí se toman su tiempecito porque son cuatro partecitas. Todo lo que el midterm exam tiene, todo lo hemos visto. Yo se los he explicado eh, very clear in Spanish and in English too in order that you can give uh, a right answer to each question. So at the moment that you take it, take it easy, try, try to relax and you are going to answer it in the right way. Okay. Bueno, que me hayan preguntado eso, fíjense, porque eh, es necesario ir al día también con el midterm exam. Bueno, aquí me escribió quién, Esmeralda. Okay, no, no problem, Esmeralda. Okay, let me check out the attendance now. Ahora revisamos la asistencia, la victoria. Hello? Present teacher. Ajá, ahí está. Eh, Andrés, por ahí lo vi. Present teacher. Está listener, está trabajando, está trabajando. Eh, Ángel Giovanni. Ángel Giovanni. It's not here. No ha llegado, bueno. Brenda Natalie. Presentation. Ahí está, ahí está. Eh, Carlos. Is there two? Ok, thank you. Diana y Amilet. Presentation. Ok, hello Diana, welcome. Erika, Verónica. Presentation. Ah, ahí está, Amilet. Eh, Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay, Evelyn Karina is there too. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. I stand the listener. Eh, Ismael Ernesto. 
Present teacher, good evening. Okay, welcome, sir. Glad to see you again. Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahora sí como que ya logró eh, corregir un problema que tenía ahí de, 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 de feedback, de micrófono. Creo que, que ya lo arregló. Ahora ya no se da el sonido que daba. Ya, ya estuvo, teacher. Ah, ok, me llega, me llega eso. Eh, Julia, vamos, somebody, teacher. Julia Janet. Julia Janet. I'm here. Okay, uh, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, Katia Maria. Eh, Luis Armando Girón. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Marvin Sir two. Eh, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Michael. Michael, ya no apareció Michael. Bueno, solo uno se nos ha desertado el ejército ya. Rosalie. Present. Ok. Sandra y Beth. I'm here, teacher. Ok, step two. Eh, Sonia Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Welcome to all of you. It's a pleasure to see you again. I'm going to share with you my slides that I got prepared for today. Let me show you this, this one. Okay, today is February 13. And this is class number 11. Let me move some here and get bigger this slices. Okay. The topic for today is information question and answers. What do you think? Uh, do you have any idea about information question? Tell me. Any idea related with information questions? Alguna idea de lo que es information questions? Yes, no, maybe. Teacher, tal vez son preguntas relacionadas a nuestra información personal. Bingo, Ismael. Ok. Ok, somebody else, somebody else, give me another concept. Respuestas cortas. Dígame, Erika. Eh, creo que dice ahí preguntas y respuestas cortas. Yeah, talk about question and answer. Pero ahí hay una palabra clave que está ahí. Hemos venido estudiando lo que son las yes, no questions. Que solo la respondemos con decir, uh, yes, she is, no, she isn't, uh, yes, I do, no, I don't. And now we are going to talk about information question. That means this is the contrast of the first ones. Estas son contrarias a las primeras. Estas no las vamos a responder solo de decir, yes, I do, no, I don't. No, we need to give extra information. But hold on a second. Let us make a review. Okay, we are going to start with this reading. Vamos a iniciar con esta lectura, reading comprehension. I'm going to read, say, hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He's 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. Our dog, his name is Shelly. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. Okay. Let us concentrate first in the paragraph. 
And then we are going to continue with the activity number two. But right now we need to start with activity number one, with the text. I'm going to read again. Se lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Shirley. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. Okay, who, want, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? You can get it later. Or, or I don't know if you have any question uh, related with uh, something that is uh, difficult for you to pronounce. Evelyn, Karina, you can start. Hello, my name is Lola. I am nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is uh, 11 years old. We live, we live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chile. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject. At the school is art. I say. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. He say hello. My name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He's 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chile. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? This is uh, Anna Victoria. Do it. Hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. We live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at school is art. All right, thank you. Angel, Angel Giovanni. Uh, hello, my name is Lola. I am Niger Holt. I have one brother, Martin. He is Niger Holt. We lie in the Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite to have had a school is our. Okay, aquí, subject, subject. subject. Okay, subject. 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 Another one. I'm, I'm. I'm. Dear soul, dear soul, dear soul. Okay, Don Jose Alejandro. Uh, hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one a brother, Martin. He is a uh, eleven years old. We live in the Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is Chile. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite subject at the school is art. Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody else. Is there ready? Armando. Armando, are you there, Armando? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Hello, my name is Lola. I'm nine years old. I have one brother, Martin. He is 11 years old. Uh, we live in Liverpool. I have one dog. His name is uh, Chili. We play in the park in the afternoon. My favorite park is uh, this Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody else is ready. No. I don't see. Okay, okay, okay. Let us continue then. Okay, activity two, so answer the question with one uh, 
word, only just one word, no more than one word. Solo vamos a responder con una palabra. Okay, let me ask to someone else. Quienes no leyeron. Por ejemplo, Carlos, Carlos, the first question before you. How old is Lola? Solo una palabra. How old is Lola? Nine years old. No, solo una palabra. Una palabra. ¿Sí? Night. ¿Sería? Night. Night, ok, night. How old is she? How, how old is Lola? Night, ok. Voy con... Um, Katia María, second one. How many brothers does Lola have? One. Ok, one. Perfect. Let me see somebody else. Natalie, are you there, Natalie? Are you busy? No? No, no está Natalie, no está. Ya ha levantado, ya ha levantado. Bueno, Sandra estaba listening, yo también, en Andrés también. Okay, Mayra, 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 Mayra. Who is her dog? Who is her dog? One word, one word, no more than one word. Chili. Okay, chili. Okay, uh, Erika. When do they play in the park? When do they play in the park? Mm. Afternoon. Afternoon, okay. And the last question is for you, let me see. Rosalie, what is her favorite subject? Art. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, any question about these activities? No? No. No, teacher. Okay, here we go. Let us continue then with the next activity. Okay, this is number one set. Let's start. Uh, we are going to brainstorm about the different department in your workplace. Where do you belong to and what do you do there? I guess that you already uh, got the minute of the question, right? Different department in your workplace. Let us talk about that. Okay, then three places. And let us talk about your departments. Hablemos de los diferentes departamentos que tiene su compañía, su empresa, para en inglés. Try to say in English, please. Tell me. Tell me. Production. Production. Control. Or quality. Mm. Publish. No sé cómo se publicidad. Publishing. We can call it marketing. It's going to be better, I guess. Marketing department. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Human resource. Ah, human resource. Okay. What else? Tell me. Come on. Okay, before you continue in giving me the answer, I want to be the first one to give you for some uh, a present uh, in this month that we consider that we celebrate the friendship. Okay, I already sent you my present for you. 
because tomorrow maybe you are going to be pretty busy with your family, with your relatives. Bueno, mañana se celebra el día de la amistad, eh, como van a estar muy ocupados ahí, por eso yo les envío mis regalos desde ahora, ahí se los envío. I hope you can see it and you can enjoy it, okay? Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Ya lo van a ver. You have it there, you have it there. Let me see, let me see. Okay, you got it there, you can see it. You can open it, you can download it too. Okay, let me know if you can do it. ¿Quién lo logró descargar? ¿Lo veamos? Where teacher? Armando. Tell me. Where, where teacher? In the shop or soon? No, it's not here. It's not oh, there. yes. Yes, yes. Are you sure, sir? Yes, it's here. Ah, ah, ok. El que quiera el libro, por favor, descárguelo hoy, porque ya cuando terminamos la sesión ya no va a estar ahí. Thank you for the gift, teacher. Okay. It's a really good book. It's a really good book. It's going to help you a lot. Because there you are going to understand maybe something that you, you didn't understand in the past. Bueno, ¿quién más, quién más lo descargó? ¿Solo No creo. Aún está... Para mí todo está cargando. Es un poco que descargue. Bueno, por ahí se los dejo. Espero lo guarden ahí en un lugarcito para que lo puedan tener ahí para consultar cualquier cosa básica que necesiten. Ok, let us continue then. Bueno, yo voy a cumplir. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, um, yeah, it's not a book. Ah, es más, ese libro tiene hasta ejercicio referente a los. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome, Angel. Eh, ahí tiene unos ejercicios muy buenos referente a cada tema. Ahí está. Así es que. Enjoy it, sir. Enjoy it. Okay, here we go. Let us continue there. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let us uh, continue talking about uh, different department in your workplace. What else can you tell me? You can mention the, the workplace where you are, uh, the department in your workplace where you are working. Armando, tell me. In my work uh, are management, management? Warehouse system, a coding, 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 sales, legal, human research, uh, engineering, administration. Okay. What about the, the manager office, different kinds of manager office? Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to talk about this? Let me know. And uh, there is a, another question that says, what do you do? What do you do there? Where do you belong to? A cual pertenece usted? Que hace? Sí. Administration. Okay, administration. And what do you do? You control? Uh, no, I uh, customer servers. Okay, customer servers. Okay. Okay, someone else, someone else?
Hello, 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 hello. Okay, let us see, for example, I got some names here, business departments, like uh, general management, this department developed and uh, execute, execute overall business strategies. We also had the marketing department. We can find operation department, finance department, sales department, you already mentioned human resource department. Coach department, coach department. Which one uh, is your is your department? Where do you belong to? ¿A cuál pertenece usted de esos departamentos? Show me. Operation Department. Ok, Operation Department. Why, what do you do there? ¿Qué, qué hace ahí usted? Show me. Document Assistant. Ok. Somebody else, somebody else, tell me. Operation. Operation. What do you do there? Operation department. Uh, Donald do the fruit finish. Okay, somebody else tell me, or, or at least uh, I need uh, someone that really all the different departments that, that we can find a company. I need that you tell me, okay, I'm going to read it. Okay, general management, uh, marketing department, operation department, finance department, sales department, human resource department, push department, push department. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants? Teacher, el mío sería como design department. Ok. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? ¿Quién los lee? ¿Quién los lee? From general management to purchase department. I need that you read it, all this one. General management. Okay, general management. This department develops the and execute overall business strategy. Business, business. Business. Business strategies. Stra strategies. 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 Okay. Business strategy. Well, okay, okay, continue. Marketing department. Okay. Operation department. Finance department. Sales department. Human resource department. Purchase department. Okay. Teacher, esa palabra sí se pronuncia, purchase. Purchase, purchase. Purchase. Purchase.
It is like a purchase, not chase, not chase. Purchase. Purchase. Yeah, no chase. No le ponga eh, ace uh, al final. Purchase. It is purchase. Purchase department. Okay, somebody wants to read it? No? Okay, let us continue then if you don't want to read it. Bueno, no quieren leer. Esos, estos departamentos les van a aparecer en los siguientes módulos. And maybe some description related with the, the, what they do there. Okay, Evelyn. General Manager, this department developed an excuse overall pushing strategic marketing department, operations department, finance department, sales department, human resources department, e porch department. Okay. So, Maria, I got two more. Teacher, um, how do you pronounce um, el número uno donde dice este departamento no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra develop and develop, develop and execute. execute 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 thank you overall business, overall business 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 strategies strategies, strategies. general management this department develops in ex <laughs> the department develops and executes overall business strategies strategies marketing department operations department finance department department, department. Okay. sales department human resource department purchase Depart department. Okay, question department. Okay, same. Somebody else? No? General man management. Management, management. Management. This department develops and executes. Develops? Develops. Develop. Develop. And execute, or execute, 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 uh, overall business strategies, 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 strategies. Okay, hagamos esto. La siguiente T haga la R, strategies, strategies. Okay, ahí sí me entendió. Strategies, strategies. Marketing, marketing or marketing? No, marketing. I Market, see. marketing, de, department, operation department, department finance, de, depart, finance department, finance department, finance, 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 finance. Listen, finance. No, listen, finance, finance. Finance department. Finance department. Okay. Sales department. Sales. Sales department. Sales. Sales department. Okay. Human resource department. Push, purchase department. Okay, excellent. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, I need to move forward. Let me check that I got a message in. Okay, somebody said thank. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, this is the second activity that we need to do. Listen to your teacher or your following department in a company. Then match then with the activities they perform. Okay, we have production, research and development, purchasing. 
uh, marketing, human resource management, and accounting and finance. What you are going to do is just to try to look for the concept for this uh, name that I got here. Okay, try to read it. I'm going to read it too, but you need to give me an answer. For example, the first one says, research and identify what customer wants and need at the right place. The next one says, recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. The next one, keep the financial record or transaction involving monetary inflow and outflow. Ojo con estos dos términos. Estos son términos técnicos financieros. Inflow and outflow. Ingresos y egresos aquí. Okay. Uh, control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Control y supervisión de, de, de producción y fuerza de trabajo inventario. Develop, design, new or improve existing product or processes. Desarrollo, diseño de nuevo producto. Y mejora en productos existentes. Ok. Buy and acquire raw material. Ojo con esto. Esto lo van a usar en el módulo también. Esto raw material quiere decir materia prima. Production equipment. Equipo de producción, etc. For the use of the organization. Ok. Try to look for the best concept. I'm going to give you some time in order that you can resolve. You can... Uh, Okay, it's good to take a screenshot. And then you can resolve, okay. I don't know if you if you got uh, the screenshot now. Hicieron captura, sí. Rosalie, tell me. Teacher, y yeah, ingresos, ¿a dónde quedaría como control de calidad? O algo mm -hmm. así de calidad. Let me see. This. No, right now we don't have a, a quality control here. Only we have six different uh, departments. Aquí solo tenemos seis. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es simple. Por ejemplo, el concepto de producción, ¿cuál será? Eso es lo que vamos a buscar. Claro, su pregunta me decía dónde se quedaría el control de claridad, de, 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 de calidad, perdón, en, en estos departamentos que tengo aquí. Maybe could be in research and development. Could be in that one. Because right here we can say control okay. and stop by the production, workflow, and inventory. But I'm going to let you do it. And later on, we are going to compare the answer. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you try to look for the best answer. And we are going to share it. Okay, le doy un par de minutos. No sé si hicieron una captura. Okay, okay. Let us work on it. And later on, we are going to compare with everybody in order to know if we uh, got the right answer. Y luego vamos a ver si obtuvimos la respuesta correcta. Y si no, pues ahí nos corregimos y ya ese aprendizaje. But before to compare it, I'm going to let you do it. So, antes de comparar, re resuelva cada uno. And then we are going to see if you are right in the answer. Ok, 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 ok.
Okay, take your time in order to give an answer. Try to fill the meaning. You don't need exactly to look uh, everywhere in the dictionary in order to understand. You can try to understand it in the context. Algunas palabras no necesariamente hay que buscarlas en el diccionario. Las podemos eh, deducir en el contexto. Cuando ya no encontramos para dónde, entonces sí nos auxiliamos de un dictionary. In order to understand exactly what is the meaning in, in order to give an answer. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay.
Okay, let me see if all of you already finished. Okay, let us compare the answer if you already finished. Bueno, hagamos la comparación. Finish. Okay, let us see production. Somebody wants to read the concept of production, please. Rosalie, Rosalie, you are the And the number one, production and control and supervise the production, the production workforce and inventory and, and inventory. Así, ahí se pronuncia esta última palabra. And inventory. Ok, in inventory. Okay, thank you. You say number one is this, right? Ok, somebody else? Ok, I agree with that. Y yo, teacher. Hello? Yo. Okay, tell me. Uh, sería human research um, management management uh, sería la, la segunda uh, que sería uh -huh. recruit, recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company. You are talking about the number one, number two? Five. Five. Uh, um, the two no sé cómo le llaman a las que están a la a la de a la derecha el 5 con el que está a la derecha el segundo ok 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 hagamos así más fácil uh, if you are talking about number five you are going to read you are going to say human resources management y después me lee el concepto de ese de ese uh, ok human research manager management eh, recruit recruit Select and train new employees for the right job in the company. Okay, let us see. Okay, hold on a second. You say this is number five, right? What about number two? We need to resolve number two here in four. Okay, number two, research and development. Somebody tell me. 
Fatia. No le estoy oyendo muy fuerte. No. Try now. Hello. Number two, research and development. Julia, Janet. And good evening. And research and development. And is, is develop the same new or improved system products or process. Okay. This is number two. I'm gonna put it here, develop, design, repeat, design. Design. Design new or improve existing products or processes. Okay, what about number three? Which is Number three, yeah. number three. Hoy sí me escucha. Okay, now, try now, try now, please. Si tenía problemas con su micrófono. Okay. Buy an Akira raw material products, equipment, etc. No sé cómo se dice etc. en inglés. Etc. Etc. For the use, etc. For the use of the organization. Okay, I'm gonna read it for you by and at acquire, listen, at acquire, repeat, at acquire. Acquire. At acquire raw materials. Raw material. Okay, production equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Okay, now the four is missing. Number four is missing. And six, two. Who wants to tell me? Number four. Marketing. Marketing. Give me the concept of marketing, please. Hello. Armando, tell me. Eh, si quiere que le dé la otra persona, porque yo ya participé, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ana Victoria, maybe. I think so is research and identify what customer want and need at the right place. Ah, you say this is number four. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna read it for you. Research and identify. Repeat, identify. Identify. What customer? What customers? One. One. And need. And need. At the right place. At the right place. On the right way. That that we call marketing. Okay, number number six. This is the 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 most difficult one. So my is this is my difficult. Tell me. Come on, you know. Number six. Angel, Angel. Uh, Go ahead, Angel. 
accounting and finance finance keep the financial record of taxation involving monetary inflows and how how flows ah okay this is number six okay this is number six keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflow and outflows. Okay. Now I need six different volunteers who wants to read one concept. Ahora necesito de los que no han participado seis voluntarios que me lean así. Van a decir production. Is the control and supervise the production workflow and inventory. And next, somebody else is going to say research and development. Develop, design, new or improve existing product or processes. Okay. Let me see the first volunteer who wants to do it. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Number one is for you. Uh, productions. Production is a control and supervisor, the production work phase and inventory. Workforce, workforce. Okay, work, workforce. Workforce and inventory. Workforce. Thank you. Thank you. Number two, number two. Los que no han participado, por favor, señores, this is your opportunity to do it. Okay, no quieren. Bueno, 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 bueno. Evelyn, Karina, number two, please. Research and development. Develop testing new or improve existing products or process. Listen, processes. Processes. Okay. Process. In, in, and I need that you learn how to pronounce this word. Develop. 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 Okay, develop. Okay. Somebody else? Number three. I got two, but I don't know who were, who was the problem. No sé quién fue el primero de los dos que levantó la mano. Let me see who they are. Bueno, ahí apareció don, don José Alejandro. No sé si él era con alguien más. Bueno, ahí está. Ok, don José. Uh, number three, teacher. Number three, number three. Por Chelsea. Dice, why I acquire the run, the material, the production. XME. Equipeme, uh, exercise for the use of the organization. Okay, okay. Vamos a leerlo de nuevo. Repita. Buy and acquire. Buy and acquire. Raw material. Raw material. Production. Production. Equipment. Equipment. No, equipment. Equipment. No, no, equi equipment. Equipment. Okay, equipment, etc. Etc. Okay, etc. Etc. Okay, thank you. Okay, number, let me see, number four. Somebody else. Alguien de los que no ha participado, por favor. Let me see, let me see, what is it? Marketing. Mayra, 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 you can do it, Mayra. Marketing, 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 Mayra. Okay, uh, number four, marketing. Okay, marketing, marketing. Marketing. Uh, research, research and identif identify uh -huh. what customer wants and need of the right place. Uh -huh. Okay. Pero suddenly correct yourself. Rapidito se corrigió solo. 
Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Number five, human resources management. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Esmeralda, okay, Oriana. Uh, five. Oh, yes, number five. Human resource management. Resources. Resource. No. Resources. No. In plural, resources. Acuérdese que resources. eso es de recursos. Resources. Okay. M management. Okay, okay. Resource, resource, and identify, identify what customer wants at need at the right place. Please. Mm, no, we are talking about number five. Number five. The consequence number five. You already see the number there. El concepto del número 5, creo que puede dar la respuesta o no la puede ver. Disculpe, soy nuevo. Esmeralda. Esmeralda, se le cambió la pantalla. Ok, bueno, se le cogió la pantalla. Solo escucho unos sonidos. Ok, number six said human resources management is a uh, recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. That is the answer. Okay, last one, accounting and finance. Who wants to read it? This is the last one. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Teacher, se me fue el internet y ya no terminé de escuchar lo que me estaba diciendo. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. No sé si usted puede ver las respuestas que ya tenemos de cada literal. Yes. Ah, okay, entonces... If you can see it, we are talking about number five. Number five, the answer is this. Ah, and sorry. you read number four. Sí. Estaba leyendo la número cuatro. Okay, okay. La vamos a siento, disculpar y no lee la cinco, por favor. Okay. okay. Eh, dice... Dice, recruit, select, and try new employer for the right job in the company. Recruit, select, and train new employees. 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 Employees for the right employees. job in the company. Okay. okay. Thank you. And the last one, number six, accounting and finance. Who wants to read? Who wants to read it? Hello, anybody? Okay. Okay, anybody want to read it? Okay, let, let me continue then. Okay, number three. In context, explain to a partner what activities you and a co-worker do in your department. That means that you are going to talk with somebody else. Explain to a partner what activities you and a co-worker do in your department. Explícale a un compañero qué actividades usted y un compañero de trabajo suyo hacen en ese departamento. To do this, I need to create some breakout room Voy a, ah, but I got a problem here. I have a problem here because I have some listeners. Bueno, el problema es que tengo algunos listeners ahí. Si les aparecen algunos, ya los voy a cambiar. Permítanme, let me create the couple. Wow, no, no van a salir las paredes. 
Okay, let me create it. Let me see the listener, they are going to be together. Okay, hold on a second. Vamos a poner a los listeners juntos. Porque ellos no van a poder. Okay, let me see. Now, number six. Number six. Six. Okay. I'm going to move uh, Erica, number four. And this listener is going to be, okay, permítame un segundo. Estoy uh, ordenando el grupo. Como tengo ahí listener, tengo que moverlo porque ellos están ocupados. Wow. wow, wow, Number six is going to be number four. Okay, ahora sacamos de ahí a quién. Vamos a sacar a Julio para el número seis. Y sacamos a un listener que tenemos aquí. Vamos a pasar al number four. Ok, ahí quedaron juntos los listeners. Ahí no dará problema. Entonces, then see, here we go. Ok. I, I got it, I got it. Tenemos claro lo que vamos a hacer, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. Here we go. I... Accept my invitation, please. In order that you can get into a shot to break out of one. Teacher, ¿puedes repetir la... lo que necesitaba que hiciéramos? Wow, 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 wow. I'm going, maybe I'm going to send you. What I was telling you is explain a pattern, what activities you and if a worker do in your department. Explique a un compañero qué actividades usted y un compañero de trabajo hace en su departamento. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. What about Evelyn, Carlos? Somebody's waiting for you out there. Alguien los está esperando ahí en el, en el, en el chat room, en el, en el breakout room. Let me see, Carlos. Yes, somebody's waiting for you there, so. Evelyn. Pero no me el, 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 cuando aparece ahí la. La invitación no me apareció. No. no. Sí, a, mí, a mí sí me apareció, pero no sé, me mandó para acá, para esta misma. Permítame, Evelyn. Yeah. Evelyn is, is, there, is there. Okay, I'm going to send you to room number one because Natalie is not there. La voy a mandar al uno para que acompañe a Ana Victoria porque no está la persona que le tocó. Por favor, acépteme la invitación. Let me see somebody else. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, Jose Alejandro is waiting. Okay, hold on a second. Lo voy a mover al 7 y luego lo regreso para ahí, vamos a ver. Okay, no acepte la invitación todavía. No, I'm going to move to number 8. Ok, ahí le llegó la invitación. Ahora sí. No se ha unido.
Se volvió a salir. Lo abortó, lo abortó. Ah, I'm Armando is alone. Okay, I'm going to send you to Armando. The number two, I guess, is going to be better. Okay, hold on a second. Number two, okay, bro. Okay, try to try to talk with him. My goodness, alone. My goodness, I got three here. Okay.
Okay. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy your TV. Okay, let us continue then because I need to talk about uh, another topic. Okay, let us talk about WH question words. We call it this way, WH question words. Okay, WH question words, we use question words to ask certain type of questions. Question word question, we call it that way. We often refer to them as WH word because they include letter WH, for example, Y, how. Le llamamos así a las WH questions porque incluyen la letra WH siempre en ellas. Por ejemplo, Y, por ejemplo, how, ahí está la WH. Por eso se llaman uh, WH question words. Ok. And we have... Uh, for example, how we can how we can have what, why, when, where, who. How many words? Six, right? Okay, pay attention, pay attention about this. A la w, uh, WH word question. Preguntas de información. Rosalie, Rosalie, take care, Rosalie, take care, Rosalie. Okay, take a look at this. We have, we have what, why, when, where, who, and how. Todas estas son WH question word. Okay. Okay. Let me move forward. And I, I have some example here. Uh, the number one, who wants to read it? Who wants to read what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, 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 but I need that you that you read what what is uh up this question. Information about something. Ah, okay. That means that we are going to use what? Vamos a usar what in order to give information about something. For example, what are you doing? What could be the answer for this question? ¿Cuál podría ser la respuesta a esta pregunta? Eso no lo podemos responder simplemente diciendo yes, I do, no, I don't. No, I need to give extra information. Necesito dar información extra. Ismael. Tell me, Ismael. Well, an answer. Yeah, an answer uh, to this I'm... question. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing my homework. You are doing your homework, okay? You can say it that way. Sandra Ivet, tell me. The answer can be with a better with um, ING. For example, I'm listening to music. Okay. What are you doing? I'm listening to music, okay? Okay. Information about something. Información acerca de algo. Para eso voy a usar what. Okay, next. Why? Why? Somebody wants to read it? Yes, I. Mm -hmm. uh, asking for reason 
asking what for. Why do you hate me? Okay, take a look at the question. Asking for reason, asking what for. Preguntando por una razón, preguntando el porqué de algo. Y la pregunta le dice, why do you hate me? ¿Por qué me odias? Y le va a responder, because I don't love you. <laughs> okay. Somebody wants to give me an example. You send why? Information about time. Información acerca del tiempo. Okay, hold on. But I need some example uh, uh, related with why. Necesito ejemplo de why primero. Uh, why do you learn English? Why? Why? Why do you learn English? Why do you want to learn English? Why do you want to learn English? Why do you like English? Okay. Well, because if I learn how to speak English, I'm going to have uh, a new opportunity to in my job, maybe, or in another place. Okay. Somebody else using why? Alguien más usando why? No. Why do you need my attention? Why? Do you need my attention? Ah, why do you need my attention? Because what I want to tell you is really important. Lo estoy mandando bien, bien, bien afilado para el día de mañana con todas estas preguntas. ¿Qué hay mañana, teacher? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow it's February, February, uh, February. Valentine's well, Day. It's, it's Valentine's Day. Day. Yes. Wow. Cierto, es cierto. Sorry. No, qué barra para caballero. Why? Y se le olvidó comprarle el regalo ahí al. No, no, no. Tomorrow. 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 What a shame. The morning. Very early. No. Okay. Okay. Pero ya le the roast is very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Imagínese usted. Okay, che, okay. I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, why uh, not where is here? Uh, which? Ah, which? Um, well, because this one are the most common. But in fact, there are more than four. In the previous one, I show you, uh, maybe it's in the next slice. En la, en la diapositiva anterior le mostré. Le mostré seis. Let me show you again. Okay, but even we don't have wish here. Pero no tenemos wish ahí. Okay. Estos son los más comunes. No significa que solo existan ellos. Tal vez nos aparece en la siguiente. Ok. Number uh, three. Say when. Information about time. When did it happen? ¿Cuándo sucedió? When are you going to come? Ok. Another example that you can give me. Using when. When you can invite me uh, from dancing. Ah, pero la pregunta entonces sería, when, when are you going to invite me? When, when are you going to invite yeah, me? Yeah, to when dancing? are you going to invite me to a party? I stop. When do you happy birthday? Ah, uh, ahí la pregunta tendría que ser When is your birthday? When is your birthday? 
at birthday. When is your birthday? Okay, and the last one, where? Information about places. Where are you from? I am from Brazil. You can say I am from, uh, well, different places, you know. Let me see what I have in the next one. Ah, I got it. Which, and it's a mistake here also. It's not a mistake there. Which is in this way. It's a misspelling. Aquí hay un error de dedo, mira. It's which. No, así como está aquí. Okay, who. Somebody wants to read it? Information about people. Who are you? ¿Quién es usted? Who are you to tell me that? ¿Quién eres tú para decirme eso? No, ya no les enseño esas expresiones. No, 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 no. Who is your coach? Para mañana nos van a servir. Yeah, yeah, para mañana les van a servir. Of course. For tomorrow. Okay. Who is your coach? Who is your coach? Who's your boss? Who's the lady? Esa, 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 esa la tienen ahí bien precisa. Who's the lady that appears in this picture? ¿Quién es esa mujer que aparece en la foto? It's the secretary. It's the man. It's a friend. It's a friend. <laughs> ah, es la secretaria, es la gerente. And why is she so close to you? ¿Y por qué está tan cerca de ti? Because it's a picture. Es why she picked you? Es una foto y no cabíamos todos. Teníamos que estar closer. Bueno, why ahí... she picked you? <laughs> Don't believe you. <laughs> okay, okay. Dejémoslo ahí porque ya se van a emocionar. Okay, how? <laughs> Asking about manner, condition, or quality. El how es para preguntar sobre manera, condiciones, o cualidad. Ejemplo, how does this work? ¿Cómo funciona esto? Ahí necesitamos dar información extra. Ah, it's work in this way. Funciona de esta manera. But also you can have, how was your exam? ¿Cómo estuvo tu exam? Oh, the exam was really difficult. El examen estuvo muy difícil. Entonces estas son preguntas de información que no podemos responder con simplemente decir yes, I do, no, I don't. Y la última que tiene el error que ya expliqué que dice which. Lo correcto es aquí. Sirve para asking about choices. Preguntar para eh, opciones. Por ejemplo, for example, you can say, which color do you want? ¿Qué color desea? ¿Qué color le gusta? And you say, I'm, I'm, I choose the, the green one, for example. Elijo la de color verde. But let me see the time that I got. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to move over. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I need to show you my slices here. Okay, based on the material that we have, what I've been telling you is an extra information not that you can understand exactly the topic. But in an hour book, we can find uh, to the number four, say how to use simple present information questions. Ya hablé de esto, ya les expliqué con un poco de imágenes. For example, number one, say what do I do? Es lo que yo hago. And the answer, I supervise the production work. Yo superviso la fuerza de trabajo. Mira, estamos usando el presente simple. Esto que está aquí en negría es el presente simple. Y estas son las preguntas de información que se responden dando información extra. Como ella misma lo dice, where do you work? Me está preguntando. Con solo ver where, me está hablando de places. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. Ok. Next one said, when do we go to meeting? The answer, we go to meeting two times a week. Vamos a las reuniones dos veces a la semana. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer need. ¿Cómo planean ellos de, de, el marketing? Ellos investigan las necesidades de los clientes y eso es lo que les venden. Sí, y usted va al súper y si no han dado una lista, no es organizado, termina comprando cosas que solo porque las vio en la televisión y al final, bueno, ¿y por qué compré esto? 
O le dice el hijo, mire lo que sale en la tele, mamá. Y entonces usted dice, hay que probar, hay que comprar uno, dos, tres. Ok, en la last question, dice, what time do you take breakfast? ¿A qué hora desayuna usted? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. As you can see, uh, that is the reason why we call information question, because we need to give extra information. Esta es la razón por la cual se le llama pregunta de información, porque hay que dar información extra. ¿Sí? Ok, any questions about from here, because of the time? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengáis hasta ahí? Y vuelve y no aparece which ahí mismo. Pero son más, no son solo esas. Ok, let me move a little bit for the activity number five. Create question based on the answer. Cree pregunta basada en la respuesta. For example, number one said, I have to write a report about the product every Friday. Yo tengo que escribir un reporte acerca del producto todos los viernes. ¿Cuál será la pregunta? Number two, I work in the blue building. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver si me han comprendido lo que expliqué antes. María and I start working at 10 p.m. ¿Cómo será la pregunta? Todas van a comenzar con WH, pero usted debe saber cuáles son. Number four, say we design and other create the new product. Nosotros diseñamos y otros crean los productos nuevos. Okay, and the number five, say they have a meeting because we have... Hold on a second. We have to talk about the inflow and outflows. Tenemos una reunión porque debemos de hablar de inflow and outflow, entradas y salidas de billete. Okay, try to create the questions and we are going to compare. Puede hacer ahorita eh, su captura para que las trabajemos ahí. Okay, thank you. Let us do it, and later on we are going to compare with somebody else. Teacher, puede ponerlo otra vez. Ajá. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, you got it there. And also, I need that you uh, create one of these. This is the tier number six, create question with the WH word provided below, then ask the question to empire, but it's gonna be tomorrow. What, when, where, why, and who? Okay, but right now, let us work on activity number five. Teacher, solo que la actividad no le puedo tomar el screen. Which one? Number five or number six? Eh, number five, donde tenemos que construir las preguntas. No la tomó. No, no. Ah, bueno. Let me show you again. The previous one. Okay, that one. You got it there. You can find it in uh, page in, uh, number 30, exercise number 5. Pueden encontrarla en, en la página 30 de su material. This year. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let us try to do it. And then we are going to compare. Okay, we are close to finish. We are close to finish.
Okay, try to resolve. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us see what you have because of the time because we are so close to finish. Okay, who wants to read number one? Who wants to read it? Quien tenga la respuesta, por favor, de la pregunta. Uh, when I have to write a report about the production. Do you repeat? When I have to write a report about the production. ¿Será, será when? Yo creo que es what do you do? No. What do you have to do? 
What do you have to do? Okay. Number two. Where do you where, work? Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, number three. Number three. What time? What time do I start your work? It's better in this way. Okay. What time do you start working? It's better about. Okay, number four. Number four. Where do they new product? Repeat, repeat, please. Where? Do they need product? Okay. Let me tell you that we start with letter A spells. Aquí comenzamos con eh, la letra H primero. Miseria. How? How? Do they? Today, new product. Create, create, create the new product. The new product. Okay. And number five, the last one. We start with W. Okay. Number five. Why? Okay, why do they have? Do they have? A meeting. A meeting, okay. Okay. Ahí está. Pueden hacer una captura, por favor. Y se la comparten. A la cuenta de one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, for tomorrow, um, let me erase. Bueno, ahí será una captura, ¿cierto? Voy a borrar. At the moment that we are going to make the review for tomorrow, try to create a question using WH word provided below. Trate de crear una pregunta con cada una de estas palabras. What, when, where, why, and, and who. Para que podamos iniciar haciendo el review el día de mañana. Ok, let me see. The time is over now. Let me check out the attendance again. Vamos a revisar la asistencia antes de irnos. Ok, let me see. I got it here. Ok, here we go. Number 11 is José Alejandro. It's your turn for today. La tutoría es para usted, don Alejandro, el día de hoy. Ok, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Andres. Present teacher. Angel Giovanni. Present teacher. 
you said two, okay. And Presentation. Okay, Carlos. Okay, Diana. Present teacher. Uh, Erica. Present teacher. Evelyn. Present teacher. Ingrid. Present teacher. Ismael. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia. Present teacher. Katia. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Present teacher. Mardi. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Michael. <coughs> Paul. Dear Rosalie. Present teacher. Sandra. Sandra. Present teacher. Okay, and Sonia. Sonia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye, Good night. everybody. Good night. Bye. Tomorrow. Please. Tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow. For tomorrow. Okay. Happy Valentine. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Okay. Hey, Don Alejandro, tell me. Uh, I don't know if we have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta de algún eh, tema que hayan visto pronto, quizás el día hoy, o algún comentario. Usted me dice. Pues eh, a veces me cuesta, teacher, como, o sea, buscarle la solución al ejercicio que nos acaba de poner ahorita. Sí. Sobre qué. ¿Qué, ¿Qué iba? Va? Si es what, si es why, si es who, si es how, si es when, si es... Sí, ahí eh, una de las claves es uh, leer la respuesta y observar si se refiere a un lugar, a tiempo, a una razón y en base a eso así es que se hace la elección de la palabra porque allí como que me estaba yo hice mis, mis preguntas pero no, no, no eran las correctas porque a uno le había puesto como el buen y a veces solo iba como what okay. entonces eso voy a estudiar un poco más mañana para estar más listo así como usted nos dijo sobre las lo que vamos a hacer con el con when, con that con who y why también okay. eh, la verdad pues al, eh, siempre quería preguntar esa palabra cuando dice son variadas, son variadas es como que siga otro o o que siga ¿O que sigue el siguiente? Eh, ¿Qué expresión? Eh, usted siempre a veces cuando... Cuando a veces estamos... Cuando hay varios que levantan la mano. Okay. Usted siempre dice como... Son variadas, son variadas. Ah, son variadas. Ese, son variadas. Sí, eso quiere decir alguien más. Ah, son variadas. Ah, eso. Son variadas. Son variadas. Sí. No. Pues tal vez eh, la una de las preguntas, teacher, que, que quería como, como hacerle eh, sería eh, cómo saber cuando una palabra, pues para saber qué poner, si a, si le va a poner a, y, o le va a poner algo como, 
octobre o antes, como qué palabras se podían ocupar para, para poner, para saber qué, qué antes sigue la, la palabra, que se, por lo menos, o sea, para decir puede mejorar sería, will you speak the best or the better? You can improve. You can improve. Eso es que usted puede mejorar. You, you can improve. 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 Okay. improve. Uh -huh. Sí, generalmente, no sé si le contesté bien su pregunta, pero eh, me, me dice cómo usar eh, tres palabras diferentes. Me mencionó in... Ajá, es como, como que, o sea, para saber cómo en, en lo que se va a hablar, cómo se podría agregar. Sí, pero me mencionó in, at, and on, ¿o no? Ajá, at, on. Sí, entonces ah. ese tema nos aparece más adelante, esas son preposiciones del lugar. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Sí, ese ya está contemplado en los temas. In, por ejemplo, uh, for example, you can say, I, I am in the house. Yo estoy en la casa, dentro de la casa. In significa dentro de. Ajá, in. Sí. Si lo vamos a ver desde, desde el punto de vista, porque esas preposiciones eh, funcionan, eh, a veces pueden tener como dos funciones. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, así, así sería una de ellas. I am at my work. Estoy en mi trabajo. Yeah. En un lugar específico. And also, you can say, for example, using on, you can say, my cell phone is on my, on the desk. Mi celular está sobre el escritorio. Pero tranquilo, que ese tema viene muy próximo ya. Ah, pero sería como usted mismo impartiría ese, el siguiente tema de, así o no, es, 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 es parte del módulo 1 ah, ya, ya sí, ah. ese tema le va a aparecer ahí ah, entonces comprendido ticha. sí, ahí le vamos a ampliar un poco más eh, de eso no, está bueno ticha. entonces okay, perfecto. gracias por las dudas y Okay. Ahí seguimos aprendiendo. Okay, excellent. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.